What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a skeleton bride and groom in a picture frame. What you're going to need is fake flowers, two skeletons, stain, spray paint, a wood frame or a picture frame of your choice, cloth, and plywood. What you want to do first is take the plywood piece, measure it to the frame, and then cut it out. After you cut your piece, just make sure it fits within the frame. After you know that this fits into the frame, you're going to want to take your two skeletons and you're going to place them in the position you would like it. I'm going to have the bride go in front of the groom as like he's holding her and then turn her head as he, she's looking up at him. As you can tell, they only go in one direction bend. Like same with everything. I'm just gonna take some screws off to adjust the positions. Oh, and you're not using the full skeleton. You're gonna cut it right at the uh, hip. I do like the way they look, but I just don't like the color. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker. That's where the stain comes in. And just kind of play around with it, see how I like it. I'm gonna take your little brush, open up the stain. And you wanna keep a cloth with you, just kind of wipe off the excess stuff. This is the one I just did, and this is the one I got. So now I'm painting the wood piece. I'm gonna paint it red, because I really like red, and I feel like it'll make them both pop. I'm also gonna spray paint the frame black, just because I like the color. I like this color, but the only thing is it's chipped all around the edges, so can't have that. Now that we have it painted, let it dry, and let's go back working on the skull. We might need to apply a second coat. Right now, I'm working on the bride. I'm taking her other arm off just because it's not the position I want her hands to be. I want them to be like her holding the bouquet like this, looking back. So I just took the arms off and I'm gonna put them in the direction I want them. So I, I, I kept it like this and then I'm gonna drill it from the side so it stays in place. So now what I'm doing is I'm gonna start drilling the shoulders back in place. What I want to do is I want to keep his right hand around the bride. So like this, have his arm come out right here, holding her arm. That would look pretty cool. So like this, drill from the top. So next, we're gonna to have to make their clothes. So I was thinking of bail for her. I'm gonna make the bouquet, and then I'm gonna make the tuxedo for the gentleman. After that, we're gonna glue them together, glue them on the red board, and we should be done. I really don't know how to make flower arrangements, so I'm just gonna take little pieces of this flower, mix with this flower, and a little bit of these in between. It should look pretty cool. I am taping it at the bottom just to keep all the flowers in place. I found a shower curtain and I like the feel of it just to kind of wrap the bouquet. So I'm just gonna cut a, kind of like a, a rectangle or a square. I'm gonna cut a square out. So 
just putting the bouquet right here. I am making dry costume and all we need is that lace material and I couldn't find the lace but I'm using this is my shower curtain so I'm gonna make the wheel for the bride. My mom is measuring the skeleton to see how long she would like to make the dress and then she's gonna sew a piece of lace on top of that just to give the dress a little bit of extra design. Why? We cut it to make a veil for her. So I already got this one ready to go. All you have to do. Then she can take a piece of string, add flowers to it to cover up the wire. This is pattern for the shirt collar. Then we'll cut fabric, glue it on the collar. My dad is cutting fabric for the groom's coat. Then he's gonna cut another white cloth for his shirt. He's not doing the full thing as the only the front is gonna be shown. You can see here, he's measuring for the coat pockets. So we're gonna add a little bit of fabric on top of that. And then I got stuck with this, making the handkerchief. Looks easy, but the glue kind of sticks to your finger. Not fun. Now that they're both made, we're gonna take our frame, put the cardboard piece on the back, also with your plywood, and we're gonna close it up. And then we'll apply them to the front. Right now I'm using gauge galvanized pipe hanger strap to hold the skeletons in place. My mom is sewing the bouquet onto her hands because glue did not hold it up. You see how the mouth keeps opening up. I didn't like the way that looks. So I'm taking wood glue because that seemed to be the only thing that worked on this to keep the mouth closed. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video we got more projects to come definitely do get your family or friends involved with these projects just because it's a lot of fun and the end product just always turns out amazing however it comes out hit that like share and subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one